If you want to know how to make money with ghost commerce, then you're in luck. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the seven steps needed to create your own ghost commerce business. And if you want to know how to fast track this entire process and get your business up and running in seven days or less, be sure to watch this entire video because you're not going to want to miss this. So let's jump right in. All right. So the first step in creating your ghost commerce business is choosing a niche. Now, if you see on the screen, we have the health, wealth and relationships niche. And these three are the most popular and highest paying niches that you can choose. Now, you don't have to lock yourself into any one of these three if you already have something in mind. But if you're just starting out, then you want to focus on building your brand on something within the health, wealth or relationships niche. And an example of that would be, say you decide to choose uh, the wealth niche. And so maybe you want to focus on finance, maybe it's credit cards or maybe it's uh, taxes, things like that. Maybe you are a tax expert. And so you can choose the wealth niche, but focus on taxes and how to help people do their taxes or if there are loopholes, you know, expose some of those loopholes, things like that. And so if you are a CPA or something of that nature, you can focus in on the wealth niche and drill into that. Now that you have chosen your niche, you want to create a brand around it. And so right here on the screen are just two examples of how other creators have created their brand in their particular niche. And these are two YouTube examples. And so this first one is a travel niche. This person creates content on YouTube around everything related to travel uh, when it comes to Australia. So they talk about the different luxury hotels. They have a video on the best cafes to visit. And they also have another video on different luggage sets that you can buy for traveling. And so these, this is an example if you decide that you want to go into the travel niche of the type of content that you can model and, and do. And then this next example is the keto diet. This person's entire brand is focused around the keto diet. And so you can also see the type of content that they are creating as well. And you can do the same. Now, what I don't have on here is another type of brand that you can create that is as equally successful, if not more, in a lot of cases, is a faceless brand. And this is a brand where you're creating content for your particular niche that you've chosen, but you don't show your face. And so this is perfect for people who don't want to be the face of their brand or they might be camera shy and just don't want to be on camera, which is fine you can create a brand without showing your face. And so that is a very popular option for people uh, to do. And there are a lot of successful brands online that are doing this very well. The next step is you want to set up your monetization. This is probably one of the most important parts because you want to get paid, right? So once you've selected your niche and, you, and you've and you created your brand, now you want to figure out how it is you want to primarily get paid. What are you going to be focusing on to, to pull in the money? So here are a few examples of setting up your monetization under the ghost commerce model. And the most popular one, of course, is affiliate marketing. And you don't have to do affiliate marketing, but it's the most popular one because it's probably one of the most lucrative and beginner friendly methods of setting up monetization. But you can also do ad partnerships. And so this is, for example, this would be the YouTube ad revenue um, program that they have or the TikTok creator uh, program that they have and the Facebook uh, bonus slash ads program as well. And so you can set up your different ad partnerships with these different platforms. And then also you can do brand deals and sponsorships. So if you're creating content on a particular platform, say, for example, TikTok, say you're creating tons of content on TikTok, companies will reach out to you to set a sponsorship up or just a brand deal where you can promote, you know, their product or their service in a few of your videos and they'll pay you to do just that. They'll pay you to do what you are already doing. So that's a few ways of setting up your monetization. And so if you look at the graphic right next to that, these right here are some screenshots of uh, ways that I have been paid by, you know, different, you know, for my different efforts. So the first one right here is I got paid from Facebook uh, because 
I'm an affiliate marketer. So if you look at all the content on my YouTube channel, it's all gathered around or focused around uh, affiliate marketing. And so I create content on Facebook. But what I've done is, is I've partnered with Facebook in their ad program and they pay me to put ads in front of my content as well. And so this is just an example of me earning just under $1,500 and ad revenue from Facebook for doing something that I was already going to do anyways. See, if you're going to create content on YouTube or Facebook or TikTok, they have an ad program. You might as well get paid for it as well. I mean, it's nothing. It's just additional revenue as well. And so this is an example just to let you know that it's real. Facebook does pay you to post videos on their platform. And this one right here is a commission uh, payment right here for for $3,400 for a particular product that I promote as well. And so this is me leveraging these other platforms. And this is how I have my monetization set up. Next, you want to set up your conversion system. This is very important right here because once you have this set up, 90% of the work is done for you. So... What a conversion system pretty much is, is a sales funnel. Now, it doesn't matter what it is that you do in business. Most companies have some version of a sales funnel that they send people through to make sales. It just is what it is. That It's not just uh, affiliate marketers or uh, digital marketing in general. It, it's any company that has an online presence is putting you through some form of a sales funnel. And this is a conversion system. So how this looks is you get traffic uh, from any one of these platforms right here. And there's more, but these are just some of the most popular ones. You get traffic by creating content on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube. That traffic that you get from the content that you're creating goes to a capture page that you have set up. And on this capture page is just a headline and a subheadline and a place to capture their email address or their contact information in general. And what that does is it goes right here into an autoresponder that you have set up. So therefore you can follow up with them through emails later on. And after they have gone through this capture page, it sends them right over to the sales page. And ideally, if you're an affiliate marketer, the sales page will be the sales page for the particular product that you're promoting. Um, if you are selling your own products, maybe you have digital products that you're selling, then it will be whatever page that you set up as your sales page. And so the goal is that to, to get their contact information, send them over to the sales page so that they can make a purchase and you can get paid. Either you are getting paid directly through your own products or you're earning commissions through referring prospects to another company's products as well but you want to set this up by using a sales funnel software. Once you have that conversion system set up, you want to focus on sending traffic. Once your sales funnel is already built and everything, this is what you're going to be primarily focusing on 90% of the time is, is sending traffic. And you do that by creating content. So you have two methods. You have free and you have paid. Free meaning organic. So some examples of that are blogging. Maybe you own a blog and you post content on your blog. Uh, that's a free way to gain traffic through uh, Google search. Maybe you're creating video content on the different platforms such as YouTube or TikTok. Um, you can also post on forums. It's a very old method of doing things, but they still work. People still go to forums and read forums. And so you can post on forums as well. And then social media posting. I mean, that's the most obvious thing. You know, you can post content on your Instagram, on your Facebook, on your YouTube, all of that. So these are free ways. These don't cost anything to do. All you need to do is just is just do them. And then next you have paid. And these are all different advertisement methods that you can do. You can do Google ads, YouTube ads, TikTok ads, Facebook ads. The great thing about paid traffic is it is instant. Once you have dialed in the type of traffic that you want, and you pay these platforms your money, the traffic comes instantly. All you need to focus on when it comes to pay traffic is your message. Once you've dialed in your message and you know who your target audience is, pay traffic can, can, <laughs> can make you a lot of money, okay? So that is uh, 
that is what you'll be focused on the majority of the time after you set up your conversion system. And then once you have actually done all of that, you want to focus on scaling your business. So as you make sales, you want to reinvest back into advertising to scale your business. So let's say, for example, you have been posting on social media for free and you have been doing it for so long that you've gotten yourself to the point of you're making five and six thousand dollars a month just by posting on TikTok or Instagram. Now, what you want to do is, is you want to take 30 percent of that monthly revenue that you are getting and reinvest it back into paid advertising. So it's a good idea to take at least 30 percent of your earnings and reinvest that and make it a habit and stick to it weekly. Because if you start doing that, you'll notice that you will start to double and triple your monthly income in no time because now you're adding the power of paid traffic and paid advertising into the mix because you've already dialed in what's working for you. If you're making five and six thousand dollars a month just off of free traffic, that means you have a method that is working. And now all you need to do is is give that method a boost by putting money behind it. And so that is how you want to go about your business. You want to scale it once you have started to earn money with it. All right. So if you like this tutorial, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe for more trading just like this. And if you're ready to create job stopping income with Ghost Commerce, then you can access the seven day training that's under this video and you'll be able to partner with me and a community of five, six and seven figure monthly income earners monthly. All right. So do that. I'm Mike Garvey and I'll see you in the next video.